Hallöchen und herzlich willkommen zu NBA 2K16. Ein kleines Spiel spielen wir jetzt mal. Wir machen ein paar Spiele. Oh, das hat sich ein bisschen verändert. Ich hab nicht so gut gekauft wie das Wort. Ich bin nicht mehr bei Luther. Ich yeah. bei den Cleveland Cavaliers. Äh, hier, ähm, okay. Ich spiele bei den Cleveland und bin hier im Stark 5. Ich weiß nicht, 5, ich spiele 26 Minuten und ja. Super, ähm, ne? Äh, wir spielen normal. Äh, und mein Upgrade ist so. Also mein Upgrade so oh, los. Ganz langweilig. Ähm, und so. The 2K Sports Pregame Show. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson, and it is my pleasure to be with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, it'll be the Cleveland Cavaliers going up against the Boston Celtics. Well, for Boston, they lost game one in this matchup earlier this season. They'll see them four times in all, looking to even the series with a win tonight. And while we have a moment here, another discussion topic. Shaq, you are one of the most physical players the league has ever seen. Uh, who would you say right now are the league's most physical players? Sorry to correct you, Ernie. Not one of the most, the most. But anyway, Ernie, to you're not, answer you're your not question. sorry to correct me. You uh, take great pleasure. So, and in one of right. the most humblest. Elbow sandwich, that's right. So let me go, Ernie. Let's see. Point guards, how about Russell Westbrook? Mm -hmm. Shooting guards, I'm going to go with uh, maybe D Wade or Lance Stevenson. Okay. And uh, at the small that's four, easy. I, I got to go with the greatest of the game, LeBron. King James. Well, I, since he took the smaller guys, which is unique, I'm going to take the power forwards. Blake Griffin. He's one and of the league's what? most physical players? Yeah. yeah, Blake Griffin. Yeah, he's physical. Well, he's not physical. Right. He just crazy. gets thrown around a lot sometimes. <laughs> oh, it does not. <laughs> no, but does he throws not. it around too, man. He throws it around. -O -T. Yes, he does. does. He and Zach Randolph. Yeah. Yeah, I like Zach. Right? Yes, he does. And Dwight Howard is physical. And my Pick man, Nicolo. What's Dwight Howard's name? Yes, you can say one it. of the toughest bigs I've seen around. No, say it. Say it with some Dwight energy. Howard. One time. Super. Come Dwight on, give Howard. us a Superman. There he goes. Dwight there he goes. Superman oh, is in now. the building. <laughs> now you ticked off the big fella. Uh, that's it for now. Talk to you later. soft spot in their schedule facing off guys against some of the lower ranked teams in the league and we'll see if they're able to take advantage and have their win total and really no surprise here guys at all to find them among the elite teams in their conference and, and moreover I'd say this is a team with a legitimate chance to win it all I'm with you there that's a safe bet I mean they played angry this year with an edge really pounding down and beating up on people as long as they save some of that fire oh, and fight take. for the postseason, uh, they're going to be a scary Thomas. team to face. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Thomas is the point with Bradley into his side. Scott is out there with Jared Sellinger. And it's Crowder in it, the three. Here's the kid. He releases that one a little long. Outside Thomas to the middle. Here's Sollinger. That's good. And it's Thomas picking up the assist. Sollinger's got the game going here with the first basket for the Celtics. The pass to the kid. And the 
and the foul called on Freak. Oh, like that is his first foul of the game. Well, that was a quick foul for oh, him there. The like refs are certainly calling it close. So it's Boston now. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And, and in that game, guys, I mean, the beneficiary of what was some very lackluster defense being played against them. Agreed, guys. It was really quite shocking and disappointing how many free runs to the hoop they got. So it's the Cavaliers now after the basket by Boston. On the wing, James. Six to shoot. And that one's good. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Irving against Thomas. And it's sent back by Irving. Oh, and here we go. Irving's got it. The fast break chance. No good. From the kid. That's a surprise. I mean, if really I out of character for him to miss when the defense is not uh, right up on Thomas against Irving. Thomas kicks to Bradley. Here's Scott. This one for three. That's good. Scott's got five points so far. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. James, the best to the kid. away it's stolen by Bradley cannot hit great D that time from Irving James the best to the kid James no good Boston leading by five outside Thomas and he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. You know, a huge height advantage there, but because of the great body control, he's able to cancel it out. Agreed. The body control is essential in that situation. I mean, if you're giving up a bunch of height, then you better be able to manufacture things in the air. The shot's good from the kid. Three. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in, let's send it out to DB, who caught up with head coach Brad Stevens. Doris? He said that the key to the game will be how well they defend Kyrie Irving, adding he's shown himself to be one of the premier point guards in the game already. Whether it's passing, shooting, or penetrating, we need our guys in the backcourt to really get up into him, and our bigs need to be ready to bring help. Guys, you can bet that Irving will be their focus defensively. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. On offense, here are the Celtics. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Thomas goes in. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. Take it to the hoop. And wow, Clark, brilliant down. Just exerting his authority on that play. And that replay is sponsored by Kia, the Kia Slam Cam, giving us a great look at that one. And again, uh, Boston with the triple. The yeah, perfect release that time. I mean, I thought it might get blocked, but no. Yeah, he was giving up a lot of size in that particular matchup, but showed the excellent ability to get off the shot. Despite the just look to dump the ball inside. For him, he's around 10 points per game, five rebounds, and two assists. He's had a hand in some big plays here recently. Yeah, in every way, I think he's doing a much better job, and the numbers certainly support that. Tristan, he's checked in for Cleveland. James, the best to the kid. The screen from Thompson. 
langsam wieder Here's Madsen. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play on the floor for Boston. We've got David Lee, Jake Crowder out there with Mike Scott, and it's Madsen in at the one spot. Puts up a three, and that is good. The kids got it back down to single digits for Cleveland. Here's Madsen, coming off a solid outing against Indiana. Screen by Lee, six on the shot clock. Hood. That three off target had some space there after the little pump fit. James will kick to Irving. Ah, Wallace with Okay, uh, He's picked up by Lee. A three. No good from the kid. Celtics leading by eight. Passes it to Hood. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Celtics. Well, I'll tell you what, they must have had a good shoot around because they've been fantastic from long range so far, fellas. Also, guys, the passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Osgod's checked in. And Boston. Bradley comes in for Rodney Hood. And Thomas subbed in for Manson. Now here's Thomas. He's got six. Right side, Lee. Tries from 16. And James pulls it down. LeBron's got three rebounds now in this one. He dishes it to Love. Pass it to the kid. From deep. And another miss by Cleveland. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. Thomas a screen. Now oh, here's Crowder. Defense is right there. Five to shoot. From outside the arc. Offensive rebound. Lee. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Yeah, how about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboard right now? Some hard-earned second chance points. Got it, and the Celtic lead has been cut down now to just seven on the basket from James. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Now, here's Thomas. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. No good with the triple. You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to knock that one down. He'll spray that one on. Here's the kid. Here's Mozgov. And that one is hammered home. Just a terrific effort on the offensive glass. That's how they're going to cut into this lead. And Greg, a, a dunk like that is sure to give them a spark. Which is a spark they desperately need, Kevin. They've got to ramp up the intensity. Fast break. Fast break. A chance here, Kevin, to see where the Cavaliers currently rank in the NBA. First and fewest turnovers per game. Third in opponent offense. And they also okay. show up top five in team field goal percentage. 
That's excellent. Actually, that's almost that's elite level. And you know, going back to, to their turnovers, fewest in our league. That shows you the intelligence they play with. You have to beat them. They are not going to do it for you. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, over to you. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Pistons had a huge game. He finished with 34 points, and in addition to his scoring, he also came away with a season high for rebounds. His coach called it a breakout game from him and said that this was the kind of performance they knew he was capable of when they brought him on board. Now can he sustain it, Kevin? All right, Doris, thank you. He played at a level that very few players are capable of playing. And, and you know, I'll be interested to see how much he's got left in the tank. I mean, that performance had to take a lot out of him. Yeah, but you know what? Sometimes supreme confidence can increase your stamina and endurance. So I'll be interested to see how that affects his play. Bradley, no one around him. It's good from long range. Bradley's had himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. There's the pass to the kid. His luck deep, and it's good. The kids got 11. Yeah, the rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. Yeah, I'm not sure of the quality of that three point shot attempt right there, going at it the way they did, but it all worked out for him. And now LeBron pushing it up. You know what? That was the oh. Man, he got fancy with that one, didn't he? Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. I tell you what, I like that, though, guys. Some coaches might not want to make a play like that, but I tell you what, when you got the skills like that, I say go for it. Out to the right wing. Here's Crowder. And a miss there on the triple. You can't get into much better position for the three than that. Everything was right on target. It just didn't fall. Back to James. Love with a wide open look. And Boston with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11 points. They'll be playing host to Miami for the next game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Now here's Thomas. He has six. Outside, Scott. For the three. Good, and the assist goes to Thomas. Thomas got his fifth assist in this one. Okay, 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 okay. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his performance. Again, love missing. Man, that is a missed opportunity right there. And he'll be the first to tell you, Greg, that's one he should have knocked down. Outside, Scott. Outside, Brent. Let's it go from the wing. They grab their own miss. Scott, that one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. From beyond the arc, and the three is knocked down. Deep ball, good, a nice shot from the kid. Yet another three for him, Kevin. He's really been draining him here in the second. Side Thomas. That's another miss. Number four. He's two for six shooting. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be fall. Celtics leading by five. Pick by Lee. Thomas kicks to Bradley. Balls knocked loose. Let's it go from deep. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Expanding his range. No good from the kick. And he made sure not to just draw the foul. That was good defense out on the perimeter. Very good. He's a thinking man. Knows how to bother even the best shooters without being overly aggressive. That drops. They own the offensive glass here in the second. And and making a point of getting in there and vying for missed shots. And 
Lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. It's on David Lee. The Cavaliers have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. And on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. And that's a little better than they did last year from the free throw line. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Anderson Barajas checked in for Mozgov. Tristan Thompson comes in for Kevin Love. Smith checked in for James. And it's Amon Jumpert in for Irving. Here's Madsen. Eight points for him. With some arc, goes back up. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. Okay, we And so we conclude the first half. Austin on top, leading by eight. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Some ground for you to make up, no doubt, here in the first half. What are the areas you need to improve on to get back even with them? Visibly frustrated young man. All right, Doris, thank you. He's got 16 points, and the three-pointers have been dropping for him. He's got three of them. And you know what, Clark? If you continue to shoot the way he is, he may have to become more of an integral part of their offensive scheme. Down low, it's Love and Moskov. Get out there with Irving, and it's LeBron in the small fold. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. Back to Irving. Irving double team. The 19-foot shot, and LeBron with the basket, the assist by Irving. Irving's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And for the Cleveland Cavaliers, they come in off a good outing against the Detroit Pistons. Yeah, ran away with that game, mainly in part because of their offense. Yeah, the ball movement and player movement, so crisp and sharp, and it led to a lot of high-quality shots for them. The Cavaliers trail by six. Crowder with the steal. Bradley drives in. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. Much better off making him go to the line. All three throws good from Avery Bradley. About one minute played here in the second half. Pass to Love. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Here's the kid guarded by Bradley. Love with the bucket. Beautiful feed off the bounce to his teammate there. Nicely done. Side Thomas. Here's Scott. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. Nice. Thomas got six assists now in the game. Great way to start to have easy layup against some soft D. Mozgov is green on Bradley. Here's the kid. Crowder with the steal. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Bradley with the ball, now guarded by the kid, and the foul called on Freak. 
And that'll be his third foul so far. Boston timeout call. our 2K litter board with the list of the teams that have been on fire from beyond the arc over the past month. In fourth, the Celtics. And right now, their three-point shooters are in terrific rhythm. I mean, they've put on a display here from long range. Kicks to front. Sellinger is screen on James, and there's a whistle. That's going to go on Timothy Mozgov. That'll be his second foul of the game. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially down low. Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging them like he did. But boy, that was a nice job. David Lee checked in for the Celtics. Love with the screen on Thomas. Irving passes to the kid. Mozgov down low. Sullinger defending. Passes to the kid. Takes a three. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. And that's 19 points for Freak. Thomas dishes to Sollinger. Good on the shot. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle much more effectively. You just cannot allow the offense to have that quality of a look each and every possession. Love with the screen for LeBron. From the baseline. Off the left rim and out. And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they came away empty, but they got the look they wanted. And really, I, I've been, I like the movement and communication. Sollinger with the bucket. And their solid play in the paint continues, guys. And that's been their focus, it seems, throughout the game. I like the discipline that they've showed in terms of creating those opportunities on the inside. No good from the kid. Celtics leading by 11. And it's Bradley. That time on the assist by Lee. Bradley's got six points in the quarter. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. The kid passes to Mozgov. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Cutting into that lead a little bit. Way to finish. And the basket is still shaking. Oh, I mean, he has got power in bunches on that two hand. Thomas kicks to Sullinger. Osgov with the steal. Fast break, here they come. Impressive shot there, making it on the move. And that's now 21 points for Freak. Boston's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark, shooting the three ball well. Thomas again serving. Sellinger dishes to Lee. Can't get it to go. So Cleveland will take it the other way. Next game for them, they'll take on the Raptors at Toronto. That will be a getaway game for them. A one-game road trip. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. The heads-up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Boston. They're high energy. <laughs> And the Celtics with possession here. Seven point differential on the court for the Celtics. Thomas is the point with Bradley into his side. Jared Sellinger is out there with Scott. 
and it's Hood in at the three, the small forward. Despite the troubles he had in the first half, he stayed composed and focused, and now he's getting it going. Now here's Thomas. Dishes it to 